Welcome to my Adobe Photoshop CC or CS6 tutorial video. This video is on paint brushes. To begin, I'm going to set my foreground color to white. And my background color is set to black. Let's open a new file. Let's start a new file. Select new. Uh, make sure under background contents we have background color. Select OK. I'll enlarge <coughs> the photo. Fit it to screen. I'm going to I'm set to brushes. Already I'm going to select the move tool. Make sure your history panel is open. Uh, if your panel is like that, just stretch it out. Okay. Now let's begin by selecting the brush tool. Let's hit the B and that will bring us to the brush tool. And of course if we select B multiple times it will scroll us through four different brush tools. We're just going to use the brush tool. We have a it'll actually scroll us through the pencil tool, color replacement tool, and mixer brush tool. We want the brush tool. Okay. <clears throat> Let's begin by looking at the property bar here. And this is probably how uh, your property bar looks as well. Um, sele select on this part right here, and it's showing the size of the brush. You have a little circle, and then uh, the number 45 on mine. Just hit select the arrow. In here, we can select the size of the brush, which will increase. Now it's so big that you, I just painted that because my brush stroke was so big. Let's go down to smaller size. Now you can see the, the size of the brush stroke right here. Okay. Now we can also select the size of our brush stroke by using our left bracket key to make it smaller and our right bracket key to make it larger. And this is in the description of the video as well if you're not sure what the left or right bracket key is. They're the bracket keys right next to the letter P. Okay. Now <clears throat> we will notice when we make the stroke that it is considered a hard stroke. Okay. If we want to soften the stroke, of course we can set it here. Okay. Now you will notice it's a softer stroke kind of feathered. Uh, we can also adjust the stroke okay we can also adjust the stroke by holding the shift key and the bracket key. I just begin by hitting the shift left bracket. Now I'm going to hit shift right bracket. Okay. Now if I want I can tap it one, two, three. Okay, tap it again one. Okay, so I can adjust the levels of the softness. Okay, now let's look again at the property uh, bar here. Let's fool around with our property bar. Let's let's open it up. Okay, go over here to your settings, right here. This little little circular type wheel here and you have different options we can choose large thumbnail okay and you can fool around with this yourself personally I like the stroke thumbnail and you can fool around with you know I don't have that many brushes at the moment so I don't want to have to scroll to find my brushes so I'm, I'm gonna set mine right there now here we will see the types of brushes the names of the brushes uh, on certain ones that have numbers on this one if I just hold my mouse over the brush it will tell me the name of the brush hard brush soft round pressure brush you know etc etc okay so to begin okay we've used the round brush let's go back to the round brush if you want to change the color of your brush you can double click 
this foreground color here, which in mine is white. And let's select uh, let's select green. Let's select a dark green. Okay. So again, I can I can brush that way. I can hold down my shift key. Okay, I'm going to I'm holding my shift key right now. I'm not going to let it up. I can click. My shift key is still down. I left clicked. I'll come over here and I'll left click again. Okay. And I'll come down here, left click again. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let's do it with our, let's change the hardness of our brush. Okay. Didn't work. Okay. Now, that should be all the way up to 100. Yes, it is. Okay. Left click. It's, it's, gonna follow me around <clears throat> holding my shift key down and it'll follow me around there now let's do uh, let's try another brush now you'll just have to fool around with these to see the different things that will happen let's open up brush 134 which is the grass okay and Let's make it uh, a different color. Let's change the color to, let's go with a lighter color. Okay. You notice it kind of changes colors as you click. Of course, we can make the, the blades bigger and just keep left clicking like so. Okay. Make the blade bigger and we're getting kind of some cool effects, right? Okay, let's, uh, let, let's look at the function of the shift key on this one. I'm going to hold my shift key down, okay, and just drag the mouse back and forth by left clicking, okay. Let's do it with a smaller, let's change the size of the blade here, okay. Let's start in the middle. Hold left shift key, hold the shift key down, left click and drag. And just keep the left click down and just keep dragging back and forth. Now you'll notice if I go down, it doesn't matter. Wherever I set my my brush to begin with, now, well, actually, now it's, it goes up and down, but I can't go to the right or to the left. Okay, let's do it again. Hold Shift, drag back and forth. Now I left I let my Shift key up is why it let me go up and down. Now if I let my Shift key up and hold it again, now I can go up and down. Okay, so it's kind of a cool function. So uh, let's say. Uh, you know, I want to do a real quick, uh, I want to put some blades of grass here, hold my shift key down. Then I want to make it a little bigger. It's, uh, and just hold my shift key down. Okay. Got kind of, and then let's say, like, go to the hard round brush. Set my opacity to 28%. And let's do uh, pink. Let's do a dark pink. Right there. Let's set the opacity to 28%. Or 25, 27, right around there. And let's select a very... Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm lowering the size of my brush. It was way too big. Now what I'm going to do, I, I lowered it so I could show you. I'm going to raise my brush very large and I'm just going to do one stroke across okay so I get that sort of an effect if I had my brush set to 100 percent it would just completely cover it so it's just a cool effect using the opacity okay okay that's the video what we're going to do now for a little bonus is discuss the history panel or we we could say discuss a way around the history panel uh, if you want to bypass the history panel okay you can use let's let's select several selections here I'm just left clicking multiple times okay now if I hit command Z on Mac and I keep hitting it it will take away and bring it back I'm just holding the command button down so no matter how many times I do that, I only have one undo. 
Now if I hold Command or Control Z with Windows, Control Z with Windows, we'll do the same thing. Command Z with Mac. Now if I hold Command Alt Z on Mac or Control Alt Z on Windows. Now I'm going to keep the Command Alt down and just repeatedly press the Z and I will get multiple undos. Okay, just a little bonus there. Now I wasn't able to get the last dot out, so I have to go back to the history panel to get that dot out. Okay, that's it. I hope this was easy to understand and the best thing to do is to sit down and practice and learn, watch some other videos and that's what I'm doing, learning, teaching, make you some instruction videos, write you out a format. In the um, description of this video, you'll find my video notes of all the points and topics I tried to cover. The next video will be on masking. Again, I'm following uh, TJ Styles' videos. That's who I'm learning from. I'm going to put a link to his videos in the description of this video. Actually, I'll have a link to the exact video that I'm this video is bouncing off of and I definitely recommend you check out his videos he's got a lot of them and he's a great teacher I've been learning uh, Photoshop from him I also learned uh, Adobe Premiere from him still learning just getting serious about it and this is the way I'm learning it better hope you enjoyed it God bless